guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i'll be teach you how to create new style of science fiction scene with using js placement texture so firstly guys i have some texture see guys that's my js displacement texture first one and second one that's my color one and third one that's my normal map texture so close and go to blender see guys that's my js displacement so click on here and use second one yeah and generate displacement texture so click yeah see guys that's my first one so guys save height map so go to desktop like this save so next one guys i create color one so guys for color click on here color wise yes see guys that's my color texture i like this one yes and guys save your color so click on here and desktop save and last one guys i create normal map texture so go to a here so save to normal so click and save desktop yes so guys go to desktop and now i have three texture see guys that's my first one and second one color and third one that's my normal map texture right okay so guys go to blender and click on here that's my screen setup simple and next one guys i use plane and plane size increase i like 10 cm actually 10 yes and go to down guys select your plane go to down like this yeah great okay so guys go to camera and set your plane position like this yeah simple right that's my position and next one guys i apply this time cylinder and change cylinder radius guys segments i like 50 and depth i like 15 and radius this one i like 0.02 yeah right and rotate the cylinder rotate like this like 90 yes and next one guys this time i apply array effect so use array and guys increase size like this and count i like 3 yeah guys factor x i like 4 so i change x1 that's my position go to our mid yeah good right so go to camera and guys position change yeah good Okay, so guys, select this cylinder and duplicate. So press Ctrl C and V. Go to rotate, rotate same ninety, and guys, position change. So change axis. Go to our mid. Yeah. So go to camera. Yes. See guys, that's my simple one. And guys, most important part, save your project. Okay, so now, guys, I apply this time JS displacement texture. So, guys, go to here. So, guys, select this curve. So, change mode, like edit mode, yeah, and right click, use subdivided, and guys, subdivided cuts. I like ten. That's my ten. And one more time, right click, subdivided, and again, I like five this time. Yeah. See, guys, that's my object. Right, so guys, select same one. Select this one. That's my plane and object mode. And right click, subdivide it. So number of count, I like ten. Yeah, and one more time, subdivide it. Number of count, I like same this one ten. Yes. So go to object mode. Yeah. Okay, so guys, next one. Go to on here, and this time I use subdivision. This one. Subdivision surface, guys. Render. I like five and viewport level. Take three is good. Yeah. Okay. So guys, this time I apply JS displacement texture. So use displace this one. Yeah. And guys, go to on here. That's my texture properties and create new. Yeah. So apply JS displacement texture height map. So like this one. That's my texture. Yes, and yeah, and change UV. So I see that go to on here modifier and coordinate to change UV. So closer. Yes. 
see guys that's my simple one right it's really simple so closer that's beautiful right okay so guys i changed little bit this strength half like 0 0.5 yeah good much better so closer yes good okay so guys select same select this one plane and go to subdivision surface and render guys i like five level of viewport i like three yeah good okay so guys use this one this place okay and guys texture property new yes and apply same this one height map yeah good and guys again go to on uv and guys strength i like this one 0 0.2 yeah so camera uncheck and see guys that's my beautiful gs displacement texture that's really simple guys right okay so guys press zero yeah and this time guys i apply texture color texture so go to shading yeah so first one click on here that's my cube so guys apply texture so press shift a and guys i change so go to on here screen yeah and yeah and guys go to shading yes so guys now press shift a and use image texture image texture yeah and guys select your image texture connect with base so connect with base yeah good and guys select your image texture and press ctrl t that's my mapping yeah okay so now guys I apply this time color texture this one color texture so open yeah so closer yeah good it's really beautiful right okay so guys this time i apply normal map texture so for normal map select this one select this one and shift d that's my shortcut command of copy and guys again shift a and use normal map texture this one normal map yeah and guys select this color to change this one color and normal map connect with normal yeah good okay so guys color for spacing this one that's my color space i change so use none color this one yeah and guys closer yes good so guys go to render preview yeah good okay so now guys this time i apply light so for light so guys go to on here increase spacing and this time i apply mix texture next one this and connect with make yes and guys use this time animation select this one animation increase spacing so guys select this emission connect with shader that's my third one shader 2 and color guys use any one color i like but i like orange color yeah and guys strength i like 20 yes and see guys that's not correct so fix this effect so press a and use color ramp select this color ramp and guys apply on mix shader color connect with face this one yes and guys go to on here change position yes okay so guys next one select this one color so i increase size select this one js placement normal map texture connect with this one color map so connect with here yes simple guys that's really cool effect see it's really good that's my glow effect so guys go to layout and render setting mb occlusion check bloom power check and screen space check and again go to 
shading and see guys that's really beautiful glow effect it's really beautiful okay so guys now you can increase also spacing you can change also this color like this see guys that's my different different style of shading color lighting emission is depend on your work so increase size yes much better see guys that's really beautiful so press zero for camera yeah great okay so guys now that's my material js yes and now guys i apply same material on this one plane so go to on here plane and use this one material yeah that's really nice see guys that's my beautiful textures right see it's really beautiful so guys my final shading is finished last one you can apply simple emission color on cylinder material so new and emission guys take any one color but i like blue 0.6 one and strength i like 30 yeah and guys same apply this one material so press zero yeah that's my camera view angle yeah okay so guys see that's my final shading and guys go to on here layout so guys go to world properties and guys see that's my strength so use zero i like black texture black environment yeah really good okay so go to light now i increase light radius so light radius i like 0 0.5 yeah and guys select this one light so go to down so closer yes it's good closer so go to zero so press zero yeah camera view angle and guys copy this light press ctrl c and v and guys go to on here right side and press zero yeah beautiful right so guys now one more changes on this one texture so again i go to shading and select this cube so guys i create metallic effect so go to metallic i like one yeah that's my metal effect and guys roughness i change to 0 0.314 yeah great simple guys right that's my metallic effect so closer yeah really good okay so guys my final texture is really good so go to layout and go to camera uncheck camera yeah good okay so guys go to render setting and guys for render this one render i like one to eight and final render setting is really good simple and go to camera check so guys set your light set your light position closer yes good right okay so guys select your light and guys light power is good yeah light is good and guys yeah okay so guys go to render and render image check so guys that's it my final render is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe to channel thank you